Hi, I'm Mark from Future Loop Foundation, and we are sat in Indigo Club in Bulgaria, in Sofia. And I'm here to do a show tonight. Um, I'm from Sheffield in England, but I currently live in Berlin. And I am Future Loop Foundation. Everybody kind of always thinks there's three or four or five of us, but there's just me and an MC who is not here tonight. Um, the main kind of music that I make or that I'm known for is drum and bass. Going way, way, way back, I had piano lessons when I was four or five years old. And um, when I was about 12 or 13 in England, synthesizer music just started to become popular. And there were lots of bands like Spandau Ballet and Kraftwerk and Duran Duran. And where I'm from in Sheffield, is very well known for electronic music. There was a band called Cabaret Voltaire and the Human League. And so I was very influenced by all this kind of music. And when I was a teenager, I got a synthesizer and then started playing in bands. And then when I started to get nearer 20 years old, the first wave in England of dance music happened, the Summer of Love it was called. And this is when Acid House first became very popular in 1989, which is a long time ago now. And all of a sudden, the music that I was making in my bedroom was breaking out, and it was very big in the clubs. It was very exciting because you didn't need to be a pop star anymore. You could make songs in your front room or in your bedroom. And, and these tracks, two days later, were being played in clubs. And also, at this time, musical equipment got very cheap in England because when the first samplers came out, you needed maybe 200,000 Deutschmarks to buy one, whereas all of a sudden they started to get realistically cheap. And so I started making my own tracks. And at the time, I was very influenced by ambient music, by bands like The Orb and Banco de Gaia. And in Britain, the music press got very excited by ambient music and I think killed it in a way, because of the over-excitement and the over-hype. And so I got very bored with ambient music. And so for three years, I didn't really bother with electronic music. And then I started to hear early records by a guy called Gerald and by LTJ Bookham and his Good Looking Records label. And to me, this seemed like the natural place, the logical progression for ambient music to go really kind of nice soundscapes and on top of that there was a really nice drum and bass beats. So I started to make drum and bass records five years ago I guess, maybe yeah five years ago and I, I did this for maybe six months in my bedroom and then I sent out demo tapes and I got a deal and then I did my first album which came out um, about four and a half years ago. This was called Time and Bass and then I did a big tour of Europe. And then after this, I did another album called Conditions for Living and toured Europe again. And then I did another album called Funk Rock. And then the live album, which is coming out later in the year, is called Live in the Middle of Nowhere. And then, as I said earlier, I just now start to work on my next record, but now I'm making it more chilled out, more kind of trip hop and ethnic music influences and a different vibe to the drum and bass. It's all connected. You know, France is next to Germany, next to Switzerland, and then you go, you know, the Czech Republic, Romania, and then you get here in Bulgaria. And English culture, I don't feel very English, although I am English, I guess. I feel more European. And so the culture doesn't strike a chord with me. And also, it's very expensive to live in England. And the vibe to me now is jaded and so I prefer the lifestyle in Europe I prefer Berlin is a great place to live right now it's very it's like a chameleon it changes every day and so it's very interesting to be in Berlin at this time and we've got you know I'm going to move to Italy in, in, a, in a little while because once you make this big move from England to wherever even though I did it and I brought the cat and everything you can do it again and again and again. So 
I, you know, it's, it's a nicer way of life. I think in England, people live to work, whereas in Europe, people work to live. And it's a very nice difference. If you want to do this full time, professionally, if you want to call it that, then you have to earn a living from it. And, you know, in this day and age, anybody can make music. You need a PC or an Apple computer. You can get pirate software and you can make, you can make music. And, and that to me presents two things. Because if you go back five or 600 years, the only people that could read and write were, were the landed gentry, you know, the lords and the ladies. And now everybody can do that. And I see music as a form of literacy. So I think it's great that anybody in the world can now very cheaply make finished music, either from the head or with the aid of computer or whatever. The, the other side to that coin is that there's a lot of bad music about. But music's very strange. If, if you say that you make music, everybody decides that they're going to judge you on whether you have a record deal, how many records have you sold, are you in this magazine, that magazine, are you playing live, are you da 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 da. And what very few people talk about is the therapy of music and the enjoyment of music and the relaxation of music. So when we talk about should it be underground, should it be commercial, etc., etc., I think it's a natural evolution. As the technology gets cheaper, as, as the equipment gets better, and through the internet as the audience grows, it's inevitable, it can't be stopped. Music is advancing, electronic music is advancing because of the technological advances. And at the end of the day, what I enjoy more than music is the way of life. I'm very happy that I never have to get up before 12 o'clock, that I don't have to wear a suit and tie and go to work for the government eight hours a, a day. You know, for me, I'm very strict on this. If I was going to do that, I may as well do a bank robbery because I'm in prison anyway. So it's a way of life, it's a culture, and this culture is growing. Mm -hmm.